my competitive drive is, is far greater than anyone else that I've met. You know, I think that I thrive on that. I think that's my biggest motivation in life, you know, is to 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 compete, you know, find different competitions and certain things in life and, and, and try to overcome that, you know, be it positive or negative. But uh, I have yet to meet someone who is as competitive as me, you know, and I just feel that much confident about my competitive drive. You're hungry or you're full yet? No, you feel yourself getting full because each time that you win, it takes away a little bit of that hunger, you know, which uh, is, is a challenge within itself. You know, it's a battle within the, 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 your mind to find a challenge to go to that same place that you've been five times before, you know, and that's hard, you know. Uh, you know when people say, well, the first one was the hardest, no. The last one's the hardest because you're battling with yourself. If I can really elaborate on why I said myself more so than another athlete is it because a lot of times I had to battle with myself to keep challenging myself. You know, that to me was why I would say that the biggest battle was, was myself because when you get to a certain pinnacle, you got to find some ways to keep going out there for 82 games. Do you think you have a gambling problem at all? No, because I can stop gambling. I have a competition problem. No, I've never been afraid. I mean, obviously you're nervous, but afraid means you're not confident in your skills. I have total confidence in my skills, so I'm not afraid. You had the utmost confidence. Your confidence level was through the roof. Where is it now? On top of the roof. I don't think my confidence changed. I wouldn't have come back into this situation lacking in confidence that I can play this game. And I know I can play this game. And I know I can play it at the highest level. And successfully, uh, so I haven't lacked any confidence. Who's your favorite guy to play against? Myself. Because a lot of times I had to battle with myself to keep challenging myself. Have you ever been afraid on the court ever against Never. anybody? Never. Have you ever been intimidated by anybody? Never. I mean, these guys put on their shorts just like me. I don't, I don't see anyone on the basketball court. And that's what it's all about on this level. If you believe in yourself and, and your skills, you know, in which they have skills, I mean, you certainly can compete in this level. Because at this level, nobody's bad, right? Nobody's bad. I mean, I mean you're talking about the cream of the crop. It's the mind. If you got, you, you you got the right mind. Oh, yeah. you, know, every, you got a lot of guys who with the ability, but yet don't have the mind and they're not in the league. You know, a lot of guys who can run and jump can probably shoot. But if they only have the killer instinct or the, comp uh, the confidence in themselves to perform those skills, no. You gotta really kill team. Send a message, send a sense of fear to whoever you're gonna come in that building. We don't mess around. When you come in, you're 10 points down. Jordan. Oh yeah, where did he go? All those things we were trying to send that message. Was fear of failure a motivator? Uh, I, ne I, if, I never feared about my skills. You know, because I put in the work. Oh, damn. Damn. <laughs> put him away, MJ. <laughs> work ethic eliminates fear. Yes. You know, so if you put forth the, earth, the work, then what are you fearing? You know you what you're capable of doing, what you're not. Fear. What's your big fear? Snakes. <laughs> snakes? <laughs> Just any kind of snake? Any kind of snake. Doesn't have to be poisonous. No. Mm -hmm. Don't be afraid to try. The worst thing that can happen is it doesn't it doesn't pan out the way that you envision it but at least you know that by giving it a shot tell me what you're thinking about when you were going in for that jam and uh you know, <laughs> magic going over there on the sideline were you thinking about what you were doing that i was time? thinking too much uh, i knew <laughs> I I, in my mind i think i was going to throw it off the backboard as i did in miami when two uh -huh. years ago and uh <laughs> i just got so damn anxious with the with the ball that i just couldn't grab it and i kept trying to grab it kept trying to grab it next thing you know it's just gone it was really embarrassing but you know was, everybody makes mistakes well more the inbounds pass comes into jordan Here's Michael at the foul line. A shot on Eagle. Good! The Bulls win! They win it! And Chicago has not dropped the Cavs 101. It's a shot. Go home, motherfuckers. Go home. Get the fuck out of here. Get Go fucking anywhere, but you out of here. That shot gave me the idea that I could be better than what people think and I can, you know, surpass any expectations that I may have for myself. Not, I thought that was open. I felt confident, and uh, I felt within uh, range. And you know, when I got it, I just kept fluid motion and went straight up and, and made the shot. So I, I made it with a lot of confidence, not not with any 
Not with uh, no doubt uh, or anything. I, I think that uh, my offensive game has reached its peak right now in the way that I'm playing and the confidence that I have in my offensive game. There's a lot of conversations about uh, what your game is capable of, of achieving. And I'm a firm believer that if you have a good game, your game is going to say that. You, know, you don't have to say it. So I guess it's trying to play down some of the trash talking, you know, animosity that's between in words and uh, and the whole promotional thing. Let your game be your promotion, your marketing tool. I only talk trash to people that I know, my friends, Patrick Ewan, Bird, Magic, those type of guys. But um, I never talk trash to people that I didn't know or people I'm just meeting. And if they did, my game always did my talk and I never seen it. Have you ever met anyone that you felt was as competitive as you are? No. Uh, I just feel that you know my, my competitive drive is, is far greater than anyone else that I've met. You know, I think that I thrive on that. I think that's my biggest motivation in life. You know, is to to, to compete. You know, find different competitions and certain things in life, and, and and try to overcome that. You know, be it positive or negative. But uh, I have yet to meet someone who's as competitive as me. You know, and I just feel that much confident about my competitive drive. If I was in my prime, who would I want to play one on one? Um, that list is very long. Start off with Jerry West, Elgin Baylor, Kobe Bryant in his prime, LeBron in his prime, D Wade in his prime, Melo. That's a good start. Yeah. I don't think I lose. Other than Kobe Bryant because he steals all my moves. When you're on the court with either of those guys, do you ever say, wow, I wish I could do that or I, I, I wish I would have done it that way? Yeah. I, I'm amazed by certain things that they do and, and sometimes it is a sense of uh, trying to in intimidate, uh, Im imitate one of those. Players. Or intimidate too, whatever the case <laughs> might be, right? But uh, I love playing with those guys uh, because you know they're going to be very competitive. They got hearts just like you. Uh, they want to want the ball when the time's uh, when the time's running out. Um, and they're, they're one of the greatest players in the, in the league. And it's, sometimes it's great to play against players like that. And You know, I know it's going to be a lot of opinions about who's the greatest team. Or in forever. I mean, you look at the Celtics. They got 16, 18, you know, the championships they got. But they never won the championship when they had 28 teams and so much parity in the league at this era. So that means something to win three in a row, knowing there's so much talent in this league now, so much parity in this league. You know, that's going to be a heck of an argument by anybody's standard. So we we feel we must be considered one of the best teams ever. Personally, personally I mean, individual goal was that Magic Bird, Isaiah never did this. So that meant a lot to me to do it for the third time, yes. You know, uh, I won't say that I'm better than those people, but I think in terms of success, continuous and con consistently, that puts me right up there with them, if not, you know, a step above them. Three, that's enough, isn't it? <laughs> enough for you. Enough for you. No, it's never enough. Oh, okay. It's never enough as, as long as you compete. You know, it's always great to win. That's why you compete. And I think, uh, you know, we're going to certainly try to do this for the fourth time. You know, but right now, the third time was a lot of damn work. <laughs>